Hey guys, Flint here with Juno Acres. If you know anything about me from our videos, I love water, I love ponds. I am going to build a third of an acre pond in a wooded area using only a skid steer and a chainsaw. And I'm gonna do it in less than a week. Hope you follow along with me. Here it is a nice late afternoon um, got a lot of rain last night front came through and it definitely feels like the seasons are changing um, if you've seen in our previous videos we have a lot of land clearing and um, pond building fence building pretty big fall project so I'm gonna take advantage of this cooler uh, late afternoon before it turns to evening and cut up some trees and hopefully get around to getting the skid steer out and starting on the pond. For the most part, I got these trees knocked down where the pond's going. I got them cut up into manageable pieces. We're going to um, clean this up. I'm going to pull some of the logs off. We don't burn wood, but we know a lot of people who do in the wintertime. So I'm going to try to pile the logs for uh, some friends who may use them to burn this winter. And then I'm going to push the uh, remaining scrap um, into a pile or I should say multiple piles so here we go I got the majority of the uh, trees and limbs piled up in a couple different brush piles here. 
a frequent question probably I'll get at this point is why don't you have a grapple to move the logs? And I would love to have a grapple, uh, but they cost quite a bit of money. And I did all this work in probably less than 20 minutes. The cost of a grapple to cut it down to 10 minutes is probably uh, not money well spent. And I don't have a lot of tree work to where I would use a grapple in the future. So now I'm going to start actually moving dirt out. Uh, the first step is going to be moving the top layer of soil. This is really good top soil. Um, probably not going to be dam material. So unless I don't find any, any uh, clay or any uh, harder material down below. Okay, into day one, we got the brush cleared out, uh, started moving dirt, got a lot of big dirt piles, and uh, at the beginning of the dam, this giant tree root ball is giving me headaches, but I'll keep chipping away. I'll have that one, and then there's one over there I'll have to get dug out. Went ahead and, and dug a drainage pit in case it rains a lot before I get back. This uh, will allow water to come through and unless we get a whole bunch this pit should hold quite a bit of water to prevent this from saturating and uh, preventing me to work on it. Been a productive evening uh, now it's time to head to soccer well it's a nice day again um definitely feels like fall i have a couple hours left in the day so i'm gonna try to to knock more of our pond out
Hey guys, day three of working on this pond back here. Uh, I just got home from work in Oklahoma City and I only got like maybe two hours of light left. Doubt if I have that even. Uh, so I'm jumping right in the skid steer and, and gonna see what we can get done today. I've got the basic shape done, um, the bowl, the size of it, it'll go back a little bit further up this neck here. Hey guys, day four of working on the pond here. Um, actually made some progress yesterday evening. I do have some obligations tonight, so I'm going to take at least a couple hours, or hoping to take at least a couple hours to uh, continue working on this but uh, just kind of an update on the progress behind me here is the uh, the dam so it right now what I have dug out if it was to fill up with water um, pond would probably be right about five foot deep here where I'm standing I'm wanting to make it a little bit deeper than that so I'll keep working on it but um, we have kind of trimmed it out around these trees and uh, dug out some some of the tree roots of what we'd already cut. This is kind of where the end of the pond would be. So um, again, I think I've already said we're not looking at making a huge pond here. It's just going to be a water source for the uh, additional animals we're getting here at you know acres so gonna set the camera down and jump in and do some more work
So we got the trees cut down that I needed to get cut down before um, I do the final touches and clean up. I'm gonna get them sawed up in pieces so we can move them onto brush piles and in piles for um, wood for burning. So there's this cool stump back here and it looks like it's a stump of four different trees into one. And Flint said he has a cool project planned for that. So we will see. It's gonna be part of the pond. My guy's been working hard today. Look, it looks great. It was full of trees when I was out here. Yep. I went in and washed three windows, I think, and you've done all this in that time. Well, and I heated up pizza. Oh, there you go. All right. Lunch. I brought Good. you lunch. Thank you. It looks so different out here. What do you got planned for the little stumps? Well, some kind of structure on top. Don't know yet, though. Okay. Secret project? Mm-hmm. You got the plans in your head? Nope. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. Be cool. Well, I try not to brag too much on myself, but I'm going to right now. <clears throat> I have uh, pretty much all the trees piled up, sorted out with logs. If you look here, the front of the skid steer, there's still a glass windshield on it. So I managed for the first time since I've owned this piece of equipment to do a pretty major project without busting it out. So that's a win for me. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm going to finish cleaning up here. Uh, we may do some some uh, brush burning tonight, but for right now, I'm just going to scrape up and uh, get ready for water. Okay, it's been a long week, uh, working evenings over the weekend and uh, cleaning out a lot of trees and moving a lot of dirt, but got the, uh, the pond uh, dug out for the most part. There'll be some fine tuning once we get some rain and once I get some brush piles burn off, but I'll give you guys a walk around. So we'll start back here as we walk up. There will be a fence line going through here uh, all the way up. You guys see those cross braces? Have a fence go right across this pond dam that I built. 
and of course got some trees cut out i do like to leave stumps around ponds to uh stand on if you're fishing here's the pond down below that we've had for a couple of years this is the uh the upper what we always called the upper pond or the tree pond um and here's the pond dam we built we've left this stump with a little island um several reasons for that i think it would be great as we put some fish in this pond probably won't get any huge fish in here since it's not going to be very big or very deep but the fish we do have will uh love living around the roots of this the water line should go up oh the water line should go up about i would say eight inches above the bottom of the stump uh, so that'll make a great fish cover here um and then we're we'll eventually put kind some kind of structure on top the deep part of the dam <coughs> is not going to be real deep probably the deepest part of our pond is going to be about maybe five to six foot when you figure the overflow um but it'll be deep enough for the animals we'll have in here uh, again these stumps will also kind of be in the water as well as that one some big dirt piles we'll figure out something to do with them and some good brush piles so i'm pretty happy with uh the way it turned out here and we will see once we get water in it how it looks well, I'm pooped out, but it's supposed to be a pretty nice night. Low wind, uh, somewhat humid with the cool front. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 12 piles going. We'll see what they do. If they all take off, it'll be pretty tonight. 